Hey everyone, it's Presley at ectogames.com here, and today we're going to do a video on Egypt Camp. We're learning about Egypt, and we're going to paint a cat statue today. Um, he doesn't have a name, but I'm thinking about naming him Posseus. So, we're going to paint him black today, and he's paper mache shade, a soda bottle with rocks in it, and it's mm -hmm. paper mache shade. And I'm just a big bunch of uh, newspaper on top of his head that we've also came my shade over and he's going to cut off little ears for him. And he's really cute. I really like him. So, um, you trip to camp. We're going on July Great Sand Dunes around here. And we're going to go go and pretend it's Egypt. We're learning all, all about Egypt. And we did it exactly like Camelot Camp, which I did some videos on, so you can watch them. It'll just be like Camelot Camp, but with Egypt. We're doing um, crafts to use in Egypt Camp, and there's lots of things. So this is so this is their little kitty for Egypt Camp. <laughs> maybe it's a halfway. Maybe Bass accidentally dumped green, dumped her green dye all over it. This is a kopesh which is an ancient Egyptian sword that, that that evolved from battle axes. So some of them have been buried with royal kings, like two of them have been buried with King Tut. So it's made out of cardboard that's spray painted gold with some, sti some Egyptian stickers and some beads that are glued on. Okay, so we made a, I made a peek, peek inside Pimple for Anubis, but Anubis is currently in my room. So, like, I'm gonna get you a little show. And then I made a guy with no legs like this. I made some food. I made a scale. There's a scale with that Osiris has that you weigh a feather in your own heart. And and when we in the afterlife, you weigh you know, a feather in your own heart. And if your if the feather is lighter than the heart, then you get the heart gets devoured by a monster. And if the heart is lighter than the feather, then you can go on to the afterlife. So this is just a little pink inside peek inside temple I made. So I'm gonna be talking about some of the Egyptian gods I colored. Here is Bass. She's married to Anubis and the goddess of the kitty cats. And then over here is Anubis. He's a protector of the dead and embalming. And he weighs the hearts. So he, the head priest that when they were mummifying people, they he would wear a costume like him. And because he is the protector of the dead and embalming. And embalming. And he, um, when I was talking about the scale, he weighs the heart and, and the feather of truce on that scale. So, over here is a Jeb. He's the god of the earth, and I actually don't know much about him, but Jeb's that one. And then here is Isis, the goddess of motherhood, magic, and fertility. She is married to Osiris, which is over here. Osiris is the god of the dead. And then over here is Nephthys, who is married to Set. And he's the goddess of death and service. And over here is Steth, who is the brothers of Osiris. And he is the god of storms and chaos. Desert and desert too. So this over here is Sobek the god of the Nile, the army, and the military, and also fertility. Over here is Ra, the god of sun and everything. Um, so these are some of the gods that we got some information on. And I did coloring pages, so these aren't what they exactly look like. But those are the gods of Egypt. Some of them. There's a lot, 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 lot more. This is an Egyptian headrest. So... Egyptians would put sleep on it. They were made out of wood or gold. Mine's made out of cardboard and tape and, and painted gold. So they lay in this position 
and it would have to lay in this position really like laying like this isn't that comfortable. It's actually more comfortable, but they had to lay, um, lay like this in bed. But uh, they would put this against a bed on a bigger stool and they would sleep on it. So this is an addition headdress they made. Okay, so this is my Egyptian tunic. This is what the Egyptians wore. It's um, sewed together and it's just some fabric that's kind of brownish. It looks like it wouldn't fit on me at first, but when I put it on, it actually fits pretty well. So this is my Egyptian tunic. And over here is my little kitty cat who's in honor of Bast. She has one eye and she had a scar right there, but it dried. So she is in honor of Bast. Her name is Posius. And she has rocks inside of her because, like I said earlier, but I, all I did was paint her black and gave her an eye that fell off. So this is all the things that I made in Egyptian camp so far. So thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.